Round four, match number 12 in autonomous. Automatic action by the robots. Hopefully they will respond the way they're programmed to as 14-14, I-Hot and the Robo Lions docking engaged 12 points for each alliance as it's 44 to 43 coming out of autonomous in favor of the Blue Alliance, alliance number three. 1683 scoring high, linking their grid for 10 point swing right there as the Robo Lions score five as it's 58 to 49, 58, 61 to 40, 54 right now as the scores changing so rapidly. The Blue Alliance with another five points, 61 to 59 as the Red Alliance scores as well. It's 71 to 59. The Red Alliance has two links. That's an additional five points as the Blue Alliance, 69-19, scores in the mid row. It's 76 to 72 with 96 seconds left to go. In just a few seconds, they've scored 148 points between the two as now it's 76 to 72 in favor of the Red Alliance. I hot scoring high, bring it ever closer. They're now 82 to 76 as there, another score was made. It's 85 to 81 in favor of the Blue Alliance. The three Alliance and the seven Alliance battling it out. The Blue Alliance is the number three Alliance. The seven is the Red Alliance. The winner moves on to face Alliance number five in match number 13 to determine who our next finalist will be. It's 96 to 93, 101 to 96 as the score keeps bouncing back and forth. Well, you've got a lot of action out on the field as the Commodores have that cue, placing it low on the ground. It's worth two points if it stays inside of that painted line. 1261, the Robo Lions countering that on the opposite side as the, Robo, as the Commodores drop that cube down. It's outside of the line, that doesn't count. 1683. 69-19, all collecting cues and scoring as real as we've got four links completed. Five now for both alliances. A completed grid is nine as we're down to 12 seconds. Two bots up for the blue alliance, one for the red as the second bot jumps up there at the second, at the last second, four seconds left to go. Trying to park inside of the community is that third bot as it's 124 to 115. That could be the difference right there with 41-12 sitting out in the wilderness. Wow, what a match. 30 points for linking the nodes together on the grid for the Red Alliance, 25 for the Blue Alliance. Those five points for extra for the Red Alliance could be the difference in this match. We'll just have to wait and see when the F1 from Haas leaves the grid painting the concrete surface as they go. All right, here we go. Who's gonna move on to face Alliance 5? It's gonna be the Red Alliance, Alliance 7, with a 144 to 135 victory. As Alliance Five and Alliance Seven will face off against each other in match number 13 in about 10 or 15 minutes, or maybe eight, in a few minutes to determine who is gonna move on to the finals. In the finals, we'll either have Alliance Five, Alliance Seven, or Alliance Six. We already know Alliance Six is in the finals. So we'll see after match number 13, who's gonna face off against them in the Peachtree District Championships here in Emerson, Georgia, charged up, presented by Haas.
As we mentioned earlier, safety is important here at first and the Peachtree Robotics. What we have to recognize right now is our day two safety all-star from Team 6340, William Gong.